The 17 News at Noon podcast is brought to you by Clinica Sierra Vista. Welcome back to the 17 News at Noon podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. Ahead on 17 News at Noon, breaking this morning, three men have been convicted of the murder in the killing of Ahmad Arbery. More on the charges they faced and what comes next, coming up. Today is expected to be the heaviest travel day of the year. Experts expect multi-hour delays on the roads and at the airport. How you can beat the traffic. And everywhere you turn, there's a new Black Friday deal. But which ones are deals and which could burn a hole in your wallet? Those stories and more on this Wednesday, November 24th, 2021. We begin today with breaking news. Three men have been found guilty of murder in the killing of Ahmaud Arbery. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Travis McMichael, Gregory McMichael, and William Roddy Bryan were each found guilty of murder, assault, and other charges for their role in Arbery's death in February of 2020. Travis McMichael, who shot Arbery at close range with a shotgun, was found guilty on all counts. Gregory McMichael and Brian were each handed split verdicts found not guilty of malice murder, the most serious charge they faced. The three men had pursued Arbery in their pickup trucks after spotting him running in their neighborhood. The case gained national attention after a cell phone video of the killing taken by Brian circulated around the world. The jury delivered their verdict after a total of about 12 hours of deliberation and sentencing will occur at a later date. Well, in your traffic report, today is the busiest travel day of the year and experts say the worst of the traffic is just about to peak. Today's general rule, if you're planning to leave anytime soon, give yourself plenty of extra time. Now 17th Moses Small joins us live from downtown Bakersfield. Moses, things are supposed to get worse here in a few hours, but how's it looking right now? Chris, good afternoon. I'm right next to the 178 right now. It's really just a calm before the storm. We're expecting traffic to peak around 2 p.m. and that's going to last all the way until about 8 tonight. Now the Auto Club of Southern California expects heavy traffic all over the state and they say more than 4 million people will be on the move today and more than 3 million of them will be driving. Anaheim is the second most popular travel destination in the entire country this week, so that all means you'll want to budget a few more hours than normal if you'll be on the road today. All of our major freeways heading into our larger cities like Los Angeles and San Diego will be very busy. You want to give yourself extra time to get to your destination. Uh, you know, add on an extra couple of hours for that road trip and expect that those delays will slow you down. If you're heading down to Los Angeles for the holidays, some experts predict part of the I-5 South will see nearly four times more travel than normal. Now AAA says you have a better chance of shaving some time off of your trip if you leave after 9 tonight, but the delays will still slow down your trip. And experts also recommend packing some snacks for the ride. In Bakersfield, Moses Small, 17 News. Hello, this is Tim Callahan with Clinica Sierra Vista, and we're excited to unveil the Community Health Center of the Future, our comprehensive care center. It's located right across the street from Memorial Hospital. We have every service under one roof, from family medicine, OBGYN care, dental services for adults and children, behavioral health, and much more. So find your way to better care at Clinica Sierra Vista this year at our comprehensive care center. Visit our website, clinicasierravista.org, for the latest on this project. We'll see you soon. In your 17 Crime Watch, police arrested a man this morning who allegedly sexually assaulted a woman over 80, then barricaded himself inside a room with her, according to the Bakersfield Police Department. 30-year-old Sergio Gonzalez of Bakersfield was arrested early Thursday after officers forced their way into the woman's home on Hughes Lane near Valley Plaza Mall, police said. He ignored commands and physical force was used to take him into custody. Gonzalez was arrested on suspicion of sexual assault of an elderly victim, elder abuse, burglary, and other offenses, police said. Anyone with information regarding this incident is asked to call the Bakersfield Police Department at 661-327-7111. And in your 17 court watch, new deals on an arrest made back in August involving an incident involving local radio show host Ralph Bailey. 
Surveillance footage captured at the July 31st altercation at Casey's Steakhouse, where Bailey was celebrating his upcoming birthday and was punched in the face. According to new court documents, an anonymous tip directed police to a social media account with photos of the suspect, later identified as Alexander Vera. The 36-year-old Vera was arrested days later. Bailey suffered a broken jaw that required surgery, and he has experienced complications that recently kept him off the air. Now to the latest on coronavirus cases here in Kern County. This morning we learned another 253 people have been infected with the virus. We also learned of another 12 deaths. The hospitalizations continue to drop though. The latest state data shows 143 people are hospitalized due to the virus. 27 are in the ICU. And meantime, people living in Bakersfield now have a new and fast option to get tested for COVID-19. Public health service startup Curative has deployed a new testing kiosk in Bakersfield, capable of conducting up to 250 tests per day to local residents. The results from those tests expected to be delivered just one to two days later. The kiosk is located on California Avenue, just off Highway 99, next to Accelerated Urgent Care. It's open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. No appointment is needed. And before devouring turkey and stuffing tomorrow, you can burn a few calories while benefiting the Community Action Partnership of Kern Food Bank. Registration is still available for the third annual Turkey Day run at the park at Riverwalk. The run begins tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. with a 5K run and an untimed one-mile walk. There's even a virtual run available. For more information and to register, visit KGET.com. And if you're finding yourself in need of a good Thanksgiving meal tomorrow, the Blessing Corner's got you covered. They're offering up free turkeys and food baskets to families in need. The meals are uncooked, so you'll need to prepare them yourself. It's all happening at the Blessing Corner on Union Avenue and 1st Street from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. And a reminder from free meals to volunteer opportunities, we have all the local Thanksgiving events happening ahead of the holiday listed on our website. Just head to KGET.com and click that hot link icon. In your 17 business watch, many shoppers are starting to black out Black Friday. Three out of five shoppers are opting to skip over Black Friday this year, and about half are heading exclusively to the local shops for Small Business Saturday. That's according to a new poll by Sure Payroll. The company believes small businesses have the potential to do really well this holiday shopping season because Americans are craving quality in-person experiences and a sense of community. Though if you are Black Friday shopping, you could save a lot on your holiday gifts. Money-saving expert Andrea Warrock has some tips on how to make the most of your money ahead of the big day, including the power of restraint. Only go shop on Black Friday or this week if there are certain items you have still yet to buy for gifts or there's anything that you need for maybe your home or traveling. There are plenty of deals to be had, but don't buy just because something's on sale. Warwick also suggests checking price histories of items before finalizing your purchase, just to make sure you're getting a, as good of a deal as you think you are. In addition, if you're on the fence, you can also wait for Cyber Monday or Travel Tuesday deals. And Target is joining its largest competitor, Walmart, in saying it will no longer be opening on Thanksgiving Day this year and for the foreseeable future. Target clarified the distribution and call centers will have some staff tomorrow, but stores will remain closed. Target began opening its stores on Thanksgiving a decade ago, joining other retailers in kicking off Black Friday sales a day early and creating a holiday rush after the turkey feast. And there will be some shopping options for you tomorrow that aren't Target. Among the stores that will remain open on Turkey Day, a fair number are grocery stores like Albertsons and Vaughn's, along with pharmacies like CVS, Walgreens and Rite Aid will remain open, though they will have modified schedules. For a complete list of chains remaining open tomorrow, head to KGET.com. And if you don't feel like partaking in traditional Thanksgiving meals but still want to go out to eat this holiday, there are a few options available to you as well. Some restaurants remaining open tomorrow include Golden Corral, Popeye's Chicken, and for those who really like to wait until the last minute, the Honey Baked Ham Company. Again, we've got a full list on our website, KGET.com.
It's been a long road for a local boxer, but he's raking in the accolades now. Joel Iriarte grew up boxing with his dad in a ring in his Bakersfield home. The 18-year-old has been shooting through the ranks of American boxing recently. In July, he qualified for the finals of the Pan American Games, defeating Cuba's Pavel Echave by unanimous decision. Those finals, they're happening now in Colombia's capital city. Now we're out here in, in, in Cali, Colombia, representing, representing the United States, and, and yeah, we're ready to put on the show. Iriarte is set to box in Cali tomorrow. He takes on Colombia's Carlos Utria in the 63-kilogram division. But win or lose, Iriarte's winner is far from over. For, from Colombia, he'll head to Shreveport, Louisiana for the U.S. National Championships. And throughout all of it, he's got one eye on 2024 and the Summer Olympics in Paris. In your 17 Health Watch, after two years, KGET is once again partnering with Houchin Community Blood Bank for the 14th annual community-wide blood drive. This drive is to remind our community about the importance of drawing blood and to ensure there is a sufficient blood supply in Kern County this holiday season. The drive will kick off next Wednesday, December 1st from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. right outside our studios at 22nd and L Street. It runs the entire month of December. All donors will also be entered to win a $1,500 gift certificate to a local travel agency, which is redeemable for a trip to Big Bear. The winner will also receive a $100 gas gift card and a $150 Visa gift card for food and souvenirs. The 17 News at Noon podcast is a production of KGET and Nextstar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to KGET.com.